When you hear someone say Kia Rio, certain expectations follow, chief among them a small size and a low price. The newest version of the Rio, redesigned for its fourth generation in the United States, hits those marks with a sub dollar 15 comma starting cost and tiny dimensions. What you may not expect to find is refinement, sophistication, and a generous helping of features. That's where the 2018 Rio delivers on the Kia brand's tagline the power to surprise. Just as when it debuted in the early 2000s, the subcompact Rio remains the smallest Kia you can buy in the States. It's available as a sedan or as the four-door hatchback tested here, and it rides on a platform shared with the Europe market Hyundai i20 as well as the upcoming Kia Stonic and Hyundai Kona subcompact crossovers. Unlike earlier Rios, though, the newest ranks among the better cars to drive in its segment. While its basic chassis setup of a strut-type front suspension and a torsion beam rear axle hasn't changed, the new Rio's damper tuning brings a newfound composure to the ride quality, while a stiffer structure helps the Kia absorb impacts like a more expensive car. There is not much enthusiasm to be found in the numb steering, though, and the Rio isn't quite as sprightly as competitors such as the Honda Fit. But the Kia is significantly more poised than the tinny and buzzy Honda, we'd choose it over a fit for a long road trip. This more refined demeanor matches nicely with the Kia's newly upmarket styling. Design flair is not new to the nameplate, as the previous generation Rio was distinctive enough, but the new one makes strides in its maturity. Its exterior is perhaps less bold, but it is handsomely proportioned and nicely detailed with a tasteful amount of chrome trim on the top level X. There's something dramatic about the new Rio's purposeful, squared off lines, and the thick C pillar seems like a clear nod to that paragon of hatchback design, the Volkswagen Golf. We do wish Kia would make the base Rio's six-speed manual transmission available in other trim levels. It's offered only on the stripped LX model, which forgoes so many creature comforts that it's one of the few new vehicles still sold with crank windows. The mid-level Rio S occupies a more livable space with its reasonable load of equipment, including a backup camera, keyless entry, cruise control, and Bluetooth. And the S costs $17,295, which is a whole lot cheaper than our loaded $20,225 X test car. The less desirable sedan is $300 cheaper than the equivalent hatchback. The Rio starts to lose some appeal once it enters into that higher price range, as several significantly larger and more appealing hatchbacks, such as the Honda Civic, base price $20,775, and the Mazda 3, $20,220 are available for similar money. But, particularly in its more affordable lower trim levels, the new Rio presents an attractive overall package that impresses with its adept driving dynamics and perhaps the most refined ride found in the subcompact segment. It's time to associate some new ideas with the Kia Rio. Damn phones, Babylon's came